For the last 10 plus years, Karina DeLynn's life has not been picture perfect. The 45-year-old wife and mother of three who is a real estate photographer has been living with chronic illness, most recently polycystic liver disease. I have 40 to 50 cysts on my liver. PLD is usually genetic, Karina's is not. It's usually not symptomatic, but hers is. For severe cases, a liver transplant is an option. In cases like Karina's, surgery can be done. Last April, she had part of her liver removed. I realized that it was two large cysts on the left lobe of the liver that were imposing on the stomach wall, which is why I could only eat two or three bites and be completely full. For Karina, PLD was also taking her breath away. Realizing this in the middle of a pandemic has been torture because I could not breathe. You put a mask on me and I was like I was coming up for air out of the water. For Karina, a disabled Navy vet with a fused back, PLD is just one of the chronic illnesses she struggles with. She also suffers from fibromyalgia and irritable bowel syndrome. Doctors thought the problem might be in her uterus, which they convinced her to have removed. Ten years later and I'm not better and I'm getting worse and I thought, well, I'm running out of organs. Karina says one of the most frustrating aspects of the often misunderstood disease was finding doctors who took her illness seriously. I can't even express enough the importance of people in healthcare showing just one ounce of compassion. She says she understands how some patients who feel unheard can develop anxiety and depression on top of their illness. In fact, a lack of care from physicians almost led her down that road, but it's something she's worked hard to overcome. It is mind over matter a lot of the days. Karina says the VA has been helpful in her battle. Now she wants to help others. She plans to work with Nourish in Great Falls to establish meals catering to people with chronic illnesses such as IBS. The nutritional piece would be that you have a place in town as a very fatigued chronic patient that you can go just snatch something for dinner. And she'll work with Clover to develop comfortable clothing. And so we're going to be working on collaborating basically on outfits that you can feel beautiful in. We will be donating a dog to someone in need with a rare disease. Perhaps the most exciting aspect, Karina will team up with her lifelong friend and renowned dog trainer and breeder, Jeanette Forey. The two grew up together in Alberton, and they'll gift a service dog to someone with a rare disease. It's an endeavor that's garnered strong support from friends and family. It's about resiliency. It's about redefining yourself. It's about accepting what's going on, but not letting it stop you from getting to where you really want to be in life. And for Karina, who's lived in pain for a long time, it's an endeavor that's coming into focus. In Great Falls, Tim McGonigal, MTN News.